हेलो एवरीवन वी सुधांश अग्रवाल रोहन अग्रवाल एंड आदित्य आर्य ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ लवली प्रोफेशनल यूनिवर्सिटी हैज क्रिएटेड अ प्रोजेक्ट इन मशीन लर्निंग ऑन डिसीज प्रिडिक्शन बेस्ड ऑन सिम्टम्स सो द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट फॉर टुडे इज एज द वर्ल्ड इज चेंजिंग सो आर द नीड्स ऑफ हेल्थ केयर डिपार्टमेंट टुडे द चैलेंज इज फेस्ड बाई मैनी पीपल हु आर लुकिंग ऑनलाइन फॉर हेल्थ इन्फॉर्मेशन रिगार्डिंग डिसीजेज डायग्नोसिस एंड डिफरेंट ट्रीटमेंट्स If a recommendation system can be made for doctors and medicine with using review mining will save a lot of time. In this type of system, the users face problem in understanding the heterogeneous medical vocabulary as the users are laymen. So we have created a very simple project in which user just need to enter five symptoms and he will get the disease as the output. So let's start with the code of our project. First of all, we have imported the libraries like. First library is MPL Toolkits dot Mplot three import access three D, which is used here for visualization of data in our data of our data set. After that, we have imported the libraries like TK Inter, which is imported here for GUI, which is stands for Graphical User Interface. After that, we have imported NumPy and Pandas, which is imported here for scientific calculations and data visualization again, respectively. We have we have also created a list of symptoms which will be used in our data set. Like the list is L1, in which we have imported some symptoms like back pain, constipation, abdominal, etc. We have also created a list of diseases in which we have listed the diseases like fungal infection, allergy, bronchial asthma, malaria, chicken pox, dengue, etc. So we have imported the, our training dot csv file, which is prototype.csv file in df after that we have replaced the prognosis column which is in which is a column in our data set with the values of like we have replaced function in fungal infection with zero allergy with one gout with two etc after that we have printed the head of our data which consists of five rows which each row is the top five rows they are the data of our data set after that we i have created a, a function Which is used here for visualization of our data set. This is this function is used two times, which is listed below. After that, we have also created another function. The first function was of the distribution graph for histogram like histogram or bar graph of column data, and later we have created a scatter and density plot, in which we have mentioned that our data type like data set whether it is training or testing, and When we inputted our bar graph data, in which we have created the ten columns, ten rows, and we have list, we have divided them into two sections of five and five, which you can see on the screen. After that, we have inputted our second column, the scatter matrix, in which we have created the twenty columns and ten rows, which you can you you can see here, which will visualize our data, training data. We have. Then taken the list which we have created above the list. L one was a list of diseases, so we have created a test data set also here, and we have printed that row, column, and etc. of our complete data, which consists of four thousand nine hundred and nineteen rows. We have also printed printed the y, which is the output of our data set. Of complete rows. After that, we have created, we have created our testing file, which is the prototype one dot csv, in which we have also replaced again the function infection with zero allergy with one gout with two, like that, and we have printed the head of our training data set, which consists of one thirty three columns and five rows, and the, we have called our plot per column distribution function to visualize it. And again, to visualize differently, we have called our function plot scatter matrix, which will visualize more efficiently. We have again created the testing data, the X test for from our list of symptoms and list of diseases, and we have printed them to show the output. Our project is completely revolving around the four algorithms which we have used inside this project. So to build a precision model of the model, we utilized four different algorithms, which are the following: decision tree, random forest, k-nearest neighbor, which is also known as KNN, and NeighborBase algorithm. 
and for that to visualize the result of different algorithms we have used namely mainly two functions scatter plot and scatter inputs the scatter input functions which is used here is when we take the five symptoms from the user then the scatter input function will be called and it will tell the output of the tell the output and when we will predict the output input uh, predict the output of our uh, diseases then it will show us the then the function called is the scatter plot so let's start with the decision tree algorithms decision tree algorithms will be called when user will enter the predict one button and like you can see here if user will not enter anything if the label entry is bl blank then we will not predict anything and a message box will pop up like kindly fill the name so and if the symptoms we have get then if the symptoms we have not got means there is at least two symptoms should be entered by the user and if we will not get both the symptoms then there will be a message box pop up which will tell that you ask the user to input the all the inputs then we have imported our algorithms from like uh, we have imported the tree from the sklearn lib sklearn library after that we have created the classifier of that and we have used confusion matrix uh, and accuracy score to predict the accuracy of our data set so we have taken here five symptoms from the user and the, we have iterated the loop over the symptoms and the list of diseases and so with that we are predicting it the output we have also created the database for the for storing the results of our for storing the results of our predictions like if the prediction disease is abdominal pain then it will predict it will save us it all the things in the data set, data set and if the table is not already created then that it will create the it will create the table and it will also create the database with we have created we have mentioned five symptoms and a column called diseases for each algorithm there will be different column different table which will predict the output of that data set data we have also used a random forest algorithm in which we have also done the same which we have done in the previous algorithm like if the disease is if the entry is blank then it will use it will ask the user to enter the name and then if the symptoms is not entered then it will ask the user to enter the symptoms and then we have created from the sklearn.ensemble we have imported the library and we have again used two different metrics confusion metrics and accuracy score to predict the output of our algorithm in the later set we have all we have again implemented the data like in this we have created a table called random forest which will which will show us the output of the predictions predicted by the algorithm then again now we have used the k nearest neighbor algorithms in which again we have asked the user to enter all the things and from the sklearn.neighbor we have imported the k neighbor classifier library so in which again we have entered the n neighbor equal to 5 which is used here for that maximum neighbor around that should be 5 and we have taken the matrix as minkowski and later in the part we have created from sklearn dot matrix we have imported the matrix confusion matrix and accuracy score to predict the accuracy of our data set later in the part we have again uses created a database and in that we have created a table called k nearest neighbor in which we have again getting the symptoms and diseases of our data set the last algorithm which we have used is nave based algorithm in which we have used four algorithm in which we have again used everything which we have used earlier and the library which we have which we have used is nave based and we are importing gaussian nv from that again we have imported confusion matrix and accuracy score to predict the accuracy of our data set and later in the part we have predicted the data set predicts a disease and we have created a table called nave base and we are storing the data in that after that we have created a gui so we have named the gui like smart disease predictor system with the help of that and root dot resizable is used so that the window 
which we have created, which we are creating is not resizable. After that, we have asked the user to enter the symptoms in which user will ask enter the five symptoms. After that, we have uh, created a button called reset button in which user can reset all the out, output in which the user will reset all the output of the code like uh, symptom will reset to select here and prediction will set the result of that will set to null and after that we have imported the button called exit button in which when the user will press the exit button so the system will ask the user do you want to exit the system if user will press then the window will be destroyed then we have created the headings of the GUI written at the top which is like we have entered on in our GUI disease prediction using machine learning and later in the part we have also created the label for the name like in which we user will enter the name and the symptoms which are mandatory here is symptom 1 and symptom 2 and rest all the user can enter or not it's his choice later in the part we have used four different algorithms like this is a random forest and neighbor bear and k nearest never and for that we have also created the buttons at of each this is the algorithm part which we have used and after that we have created a label entry from the user in which user will enter his name and the options menu like drop down menu which we have been created here We have also created the button when the user will press the prediction one button then the command decision tree will be opened and the decision tree function will be called and the output of the decision tree will be displayed. And when the user will predict the button prediction 2 then the output of then the output of nape base will be random forest will be printed and when the user will pre enter prediction 3 and prediction 4 then the output of nape base and knn will be printed. If user will click on the reset input, then the reset function will be called and the system will reset all the outputs and on a, pressing the exit command, user will come out of the system. We have taken the four levels for the like uh, I will show you in the if I will show you in the function program. Then these four but four are the levels which we have used here: decision tree, random forest, name wave, and KNS never. These are the two mandatory symptoms which I was talking about and if the suppose user is not entering the name of the patient and he is directly entering the symptoms of diseases like uh, any symptoms you can take. Then the prediction will say kindly fill the name. If the name is not filled then it will not work. So it is mandatory then okay like suppose now I have filled the name called Rabi and if the symptom is not if the symptoms is only first symptom is filled then also it will show that at least two symptoms should be filled so now let's fill the symptoms and symptoms you can fill now let's fill the constipation let's predict the result with different algorithms now Like you can see decision tree is showing the result that the disease predicted is urin urinary tract infection and the random forest is also showing the same. Whereas the nape base and classes nape base and K nearest never are showing that the disease may be dimorphic hemoborates or piles, you can say. And if we take the different input, I will show first of all let me talk take you through database. This is the database which we have created. Now let's see whether the input we have whether the data which we have shown here is not printed or not. Suppose I have entered the name Indra. The first symptom is like uh, these are the symptoms which I am entering here. Okay, let's see. 
एंटर एनी सिम्टम्स 